Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Opposite Field Outlook. We're having our second All-Star episode. The Home Run Derby just happened, and the All-Star game just happened like uh, three hours ago, four hours ago. I don't know. I'm, yeah, four hours ago, I guess, because it started at five. Um, mm -hmm. I'm Jack. We're here with Neil and Andrew, as always. Andrew, how are you doing on this fine, fine summer evening? Yeah, it's good. Um, been lifeguarding a lot, just hanging out and stuff. Uh, join my school newspaper. We're going to be pumping out articles for that. So, yeah, that should be fun. Going to Six Flags tomorrow. I'm hyped. Nice. Having fun. Neil, how are you? Doing good. Watching the uh, watching the games. Um, getting ready to travel the world with Drew and fam and basically doing a Things other than sitting in my room, which is exciting. Is that all you've been doing? Because, uh, most of the time, I'm not going to lie. That's tough. Um, That's tough. Once the All-Star break shows up, I don't really have much to do now. So I got, <laughs> I got to figure something out. Uh, yeah, I've just kind of no been sitting here. no baseball games to go to. No interest in yeah. an OC Riptide game? <laughs> yeah, pull off. Uh, pull off. Not, not quite yet. Friday? But, you know, and, it's free, so I might Friday as well. and Sunday. Friday and Sunday. Well, uh, Sunday I'll is consider. an option. Sunday, Sunday is an option. Really you know, good. baseball related, because I'm going to go to Chicago the end of this month. I'm going to probably see a Cubs game, so that's you, baseball right, related. That's going to be fun. Sick. Just to see. Never been there. You know, Ooh. farthest east I've been is New York. And that's the only city I saw, so. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, see some other stuff. I've been doing a lot of calculus. Andrew's heard that once or twice or thrice. Um that's summer school for you. I got to graduate in four years, so, you know, it is what it is, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yeah, that's all I've had time for this week, so that's fun. And uh, I feel like part of me is missing when there's no actual baseball games on. Like, it's like what I do. Come on, I come home, and I turn on the Angels game. And there are no Angels games right now. Um, I'm actually kind of glad there are no Angels games right now because, oh boy, were those tough to watch at the end of the, <laughs> end of the first half. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's get into the All-Star festivities. Um, where do we want to start? Do we want to start with the draft? Sure, yeah. I don't really yeah, have a comprehensive... We, we're we're kind of taking this one off the cuff a little bit, so uh, we don't really have a, a script or anything, but... Um, were there any picks that really stood out to you? Like, did you see anything really interesting? I gotta pull it up. Okay. Um, yeah, give me a second. So, mm. Paul Skeens, you know that guy from LSU? He just won the national championship. He's like a they're they're great pitcher guy or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. He was he was picked uh, number First. one, right? Number one overall mm -hmm. um, from LSU to the Pittsburgh Pirates. They're bad again since the last time I checked. Yeah, um, they're mid. Yeah. Anyway, um, one of my big questions was, what are they going to do with this guy? Because he was a two-way guy in the, when he was in Air Force. He was crushing the ball. He was hitting like 360 with a few home runs. But now he's kind of drafted as a pitcher. I don't know. Really makes me... Uh, Wonder if they're if they're trying to cook something up for him. In the Air Force, um, back in 2021, a few years ago, he had a 1.183 OPS as a hitter. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, he, yeah, he rakes when he hits. But then he went to LSU, and uh, they didn't let him hit. So I'm kind of just betting that he's gonna be a pitcher. Um, yeah, bummer. Would have liked to see him hit. Or, would have been fun if he was in the real National League, you know, the real National League, the days of old where there was a, like, he could be a Jacob deGrom type, come up, and he's not just an automatic out, but sometimes he hit, he goes yard or whatever. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a fun pick, though. From what I heard, he's dominant at the college level, so it's to be expected for him to go first overall. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they saw guys, something in his arm. What did you guys think of the Dodgers draft from what you know um i saw people were saying they got like a steal from what i read um we they drafted, always do. yeah i mean come on uh yeah. yeah kendall george i think that's his name 
they had him like really high, and then I guess he had like a down year in college. But like, dude, from what I've heard, he he was pretty good. That sounds like a nine issue for uh, for an organization like the Dodgers. I mean, you know, yeah, they are the Dodgers. That's yeah, they're the Dodgers. That makes me sad. Um, <laughs> anyway, my my uh, internet in my room is horrendous, so I can't I can't pull anything up right now. But um, oh well. Our number one, well, our, our first round pick was Nolan Schoenel, first baseman. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay. They um, uh, gave up on, what, Walsh? Dude, that's so sick. My, yeah, he's a college player. He's from Florida Atlantic. So my big question mark for this was, this guy, from what I've heard, is a gamble. You know, like, oh. I think he's one of those players that has big upside, but he wasn't as solid as some of the other draft picks that could have gone in his place. And uh, I, don't, I don't like that from the Angels because our history of developing players with with big risk is uh, almost zero. Like, we, we don't do that. Right. And then we don't have a second-round pick, of course, because we signed a guy that had the qualifying offer extended to him. you got to love it when your team is middle tier, like just middle, 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 and they're just throwing away draft picks on guys with qualifying offers it really really makes me yep. uh wonder what's going on there we also signed uh not signed we also drafted ben joyce's little brother oh yeah i saw that a little fun fun little storyline there that guy will not see the major leagues for like six years but you know <laughs> what are you gonna do or he's gonna go back to tennessee i mean i i wouldn't judge him if he went back to tennessee going that low in the draft and whatnot Anyway, that's all I know about the draft. Did you see uh, Rob Manfred getting booed? Yeah. You know, yeah. Houston yeah. Astros pick. Every so time. Funny. Just could not get that one out. Funny. He looked I like he was about to cry. It was it actually did. really funny. It did. I think he did cry. Stop, dude. It's it my does seem like guys. Rob Manfred Please. kind of move. Yeah. Hey, man. He's a. Uh... I hate him. So I'm going to boom. Yeah, so true. It happens. So true. I. I... That's pretty based. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the draft. It seemed like a fun event. You know? Yeah, fun. New talent. But it's baseball, so we'll see them for a little bit unless they're Juan Soto. We might not see them. I mean, you never know. Ever. <laughs> we might never. It happens. Yeah. Career yeah, minor that's leaguers. definitely how baseball goes. Definitely a few <laughs> career minor leaguers in there, as much as I hate to say it. Um, yesterday was the home run Derby, your champion was Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's part of the father's first father-son duo to ever win a home run derby, so that's pretty neat, I guess. Um, who would you have liked to see win, Neil? Because I know you were bitching about Vladdy winning. <laughs> uh, Mookie Betts, obviously. <laughs> uh, and then biased. he was out. Mookie so Betts then... did so bad. He had like 11, It was bro. funny. It how was bad horrendous. <laughs> He didn't but take a know, break, too. I know. Mookie Betts has minutes. double the amount of homers as Vladdy in the regular season, so I'd prefer that. I mean, you know? yeah. If but I had to pick home run, derby home run derby or 26 homers before All-Star break, I'll take that. His home run um, derby performance was just yeah. funny. I thought man. Randy would have been cool. He was like that one homer been. from yeah, dying. That's true. Kind of sucks, but um, is what it is. Yeah. I, I loved Mookie Betts going up there, and like half of his time is gone. And he has like five home runs. So guys start shouting at him like, you have a timeout, you have a timeout. And he just looks over at him and he goes, I know. And then he just keeps yeah. just, <laughs> just not hitting home runs. There was, um, <laughs> there was a moment where all right, his, his round ended and he's got that 30 bonus. And he goes to JD and JD's like giving advice. And he's like, see that sign right there? You just got to hit it to that T-Mobile sign right there. Yeah. And he says, I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was so funny <laughs> because it's true. He, he, he was so off on every single home run. So, yeah, he was lucky to get 11, apparently. I did not know that before going into that. Um, Honestly, all-time moment, Adley Rushman hit hit enough, oh, yeah. uh, hit enough 440 really bombs cool. that he got bonus time. From both sides. And he comes out during bonus mm-hmm. time, and he walks across the plate to the other side. And everybody goes, oh, shit, he's, he's going to hit from the other side, so he's not as tired. And then he lost. <laughs> he did really good. He I did. Was like, was, hey, he I thought there's no way. I thought there's no way Luis Robert 
beats him. And then Luis Robert like took like fifteen seconds of extra time to he beat him. He used bonus. He, he used Did he? he used like ten seconds of the bonus time. He just needed one home uh, run and a minute of bonus, and he just got it. Um, I like the way that the home run derby. Like, what do you think of the home run derby? They used to do a different format where there were outs. Oh, like that, that was stupid. yeah. Do you like that I mean, better, or do you like the current time format? Because I like I see, the time format. Okay. I see people bitching yeah, and moaning about format, about right. how you can't see the home runs land and all that stuff. Remember there was oh, um, yeah, yeah. Then you get weird stuff like intentional walks to Barry Bonds, and it's like I'm here to watch home runs, not whatever this freaking. Yeah. I don't know what this this crap is, stupid. but I want home runs, and and doing the outs thing is like not gonna help that. You know? Yeah. So people, true. People were sharing clips online of the old home run derbies, and I'm like, man, this is so slow. Like, they put yeah. like a five minute clip, and there's one home run in it. What are we doing? <laughs> um, so, I, I kind of like the time format. I would, I do wish they would figure out the broadcast a little bit, because the broadcast was kind of hard to follow. Um, and the little stars sometimes wouldn't light up if they got the bonus time. Yeah. So. I would be there thinking, oh, it's over, that I didn't get their bonus time. And the announcers would say, oh, it's over. Look, no stars. They didn't get their bonus time. And then suddenly, Randy Rosarena's out there again. Like, just hitting more nukes. He gets like, an extra yeah. minute. I don't know. It was a little hard to follow, um, especially because dinner was being made in the kitchen. So it wasn't like, couldn't hear perfectly, you know, how that goes. Um, yeah, yeah. See the kid get drilled? Oh, yeah. All yeah, the time clip. All time What are you looking at, clip. dude? <laughs> got absolutely Yeah, I mean, destroyed. you got a glove, man. Catch it. I mean, you got that's gold. just stuff that Put happens. Put the glove in... up, and then it just hit him. And then he was just on the field for like four minutes, and he just was laying there, and nobody helped him. <laughs> like, <laughs> incredible performance by the training staff there to like see this kid get domed and fall down and not yeah. get up and then not do anything about it. Just... Don't get up. He's just tired. <laughs> yeah, we gotta let we gotta let Vladdy finish his round out. We don't want to go out there. We don't want to go out there and get hit. Um, Poor guy, though. I mean, that thing probably was like <laughs> zooming a billion miles an hour. Yeah, that, that was a frozen rope, dude. That that had like a five degree launch angle. Like, that's tough. I wouldn't want to get hit by one of those. Um. Yeah, and then uh, Randy choked big time. Yep. Mm-hmm. Came down to extra time. Almost he had needed, what, four home runs in a minute? Four home runs in 30 seconds? Yeah. Totally doable. And he didn't do it. He got two, I think. So, oh well. Choke uh, job. Yeah, a little bit. I did like uh, Vladdy's celebration where they both pointed at each other and then did the arms cross thing and then Randy just <laughs> fell down. That chain is sick. It is, yeah. It mm-hmm. looks really cool. They said it weighed three pounds. <laughs> Damn, a that's excessive. a lot. It's really yeah. heavy. Um, that's cool. I like the Home Run Derby. Fun event, for sure. A lot of Seattle fans. Surprisingly. And Julio broke the all-time single-round home run record in the Derby. With crazy. 41. Ridiculous. Only to lose in the next round. <laughs> Pete Alonso's got to be feeling snubbed. First of all, his pitcher was trying to strike him out. And second oh, yeah, of all, he went that. up against Julio, who hit 41. And then Julio lost the next round. So it didn't, didn't even matter anyway. I, w- I would be mad if I was if I was Pete Alonso. Yeah, that was a little messed up. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree, man. That, that pitcher was like, I was comically laughing with yeah. how they were throwing outside to the greatest pole hit- hitter in history. I was like, what is this, bro? Same with Adolis Garcia. So he was getting so many pitches below the zone. It was unlucky. Maybe a skill issue. Should have picked someone better. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely. Uh, yeah. That was a little on him. <laughs> uh, and I liked how Vladdy picked uh, his manager to be his, his, his guy to throw him. That was cool. Anyway, that's the home run derby. That was fun. Um... We have the All Star Game that just happened four hours ago. Four and, hours uh, ago. Yeah, it was fun. 
I kind of every year I forget how much I like the All Star Game, and then it comes yeah, on. And it's just a good time. It's a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It's a good tradition. Yeah, I, I like all the I like the way they do the broadcast and everything about it. The interviewing players. I mm-hmm. I know that it like I know pitchers hate it, but God, I love when they're on the mic while they're pitching, talking to the guys in the broadcast booth, and they're like sitting there waiting to get set, and they're just asking them questions. And, and yeah. Like, yeah. He's like, and then he just stops, doesn't answer the question, and then goes to throw, and then Nathan Avaldi could not figure it out. He threw like eight consecutive balls because he could just not, couldn't get them out of it, out of his head. But that was fun. Um, and good news for some of you, the National League won. Yes. Come on, come on. Who else would it be? Let's be real. Um. Maybe your DH hey, actually yo. carried <laughs> carried their weight this time, you know? Maybe it wasn't just some, yeah. some rando. Martinez did help. Um, really, it came down to Elias Diaz, your Midsummer Classic <laughs> MVP, and weird... proud owner of the Los Angeles Angels. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Pretty much. Yeah, you hit that two-run shot to put them ahead, and then that was all she wrote. All of the mm-hmm. uh, all the AO, all of my guys, all of my angel guys did all right. Carlos had a one, two, three inning, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> yeah. No, he he was good. He uh, there's a reason he's an all-star. He That's was almost true. snubbed, but <laughs> thank God he wasn't. Uh, class A, <laughs> straight dog. But yeah, that was good. Know, good to right? see. A good Angels pitcher for once. Feels like it's been a while. I just say one of the yeah shots fired. Yeah, staff ERA is up there right now. I think we're four or five as a staff, so that's we can relate to that check. <laughs> for once, us Dodgers fans. Until we trade for Giolito, and then yeah, go down. and then it goes up more. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we just yeah. have these starters that are. I don't know, you know Tyler Anderson. We have like yeah. good pitchers, and Tyler Anderson has a five six ERA. Uh, kind of inexcusable. Um, anyway, that's why he was out of the bullpen for the last four games of the season. Oh my god! Uh, the last four games of the first half. That's still insane what we were able to have with them. Like basically, close to like a really low ERA. I forgot what it was, like under three definitely. And then goes the Angels, free money, and. Sucks ass. Honestly, I don't think that was you guys. Really? As much as it's the Angels, you know? Like, you guys are obvious. Like, the Dodgers are obviously great at developing developing players and fixing them and whatnot, but I don't think Tyler Anderson would be this bad unless he was on the Rockies or the Angels. I think there are two franchises that Tyler Anderson would have to go to to become this bad, and... He went to one of them, and so that's tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I can kind of agree with that. I feel like everything they touch turns to, like, dirt. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Unless they have their own thing going on. Yeah. Oh, did you see one of the the Angels' head trainer, head athletic trainer, got elected to the All-Star game? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> we saw that last time, didn't we? Uh, Last episode, I think we went over that, and we were like, "Dang, I didn't know training staff get elected to the All Star game." Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. He didn't injure anybody though, so or at least as far as we know right now. Yeah, it finds out half the AL roster is going to be out for three weeks, <laughs> six to eight weeks. Yeah, and Adley Rutschman to to IL sixty. <laughs> We're going to um, see a, uh, what, what would we see? We'd probably see, like, Randy out, career-ending injury or something like that. What was the best moment of the All-Star game for you guys? Um, Got a nail. I got to think. It was a mm, I think the most enjoyable part as a Dodgers fan, not as a baseball fan, was uh, the Mookie and Freddie mic up. That was really, kinda, I enjoyed that. It's got that. some good personality. It's I like, oh, those that. are my guys, you know? Yeah. Um, that was very enjoyable. I, I think they had everyone thinking like that because that was something else. Um, you know, Mookie was out there in center field for, you know, 
Mookie is just out there in center field all the time. That's what he does. Um, career center fielder for sure. And uh, mm-hmm. he's talking to Freddie Freeman, and Freddie Freeman's like beefing with him. Mookie yeah. Says, you, know, how... you never talk to me when I'm at second base. Like I'll <laughs> say, hey man, what's up, is. and then and then you'll just look at me and nod. And... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mookie's got to play third this year. I want to see that happen. Oh, my God. Yeah, just play every position. Can we have, him, pitcher, pitcher. Can we have him play every Level. position this season? That would be sick. That would be really cool. That Level. would be sick. It's uh, definitely been done before. It ha- it's been done but... in one game before. Yeah, oh, in yeah. one game. I've, 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 I've seen that video. It's uh, crazy. What was that, the Tigers? I think so, yeah. Um, Neil, favorite moment? Do you, uh, you, I already asked you. I meant to ask oh, yeah. Andrew. Yeah. Your favorite moment? <laughs> uh over to you Neil I got you um I think I just like so like last year was the Dodgers like Mookie Betts it was like his moment I like this year how it was like Julio Rodriguez's moment like he's kind of having a down year but like you know yeah. he he performs really well in the all-star game uh just went off in the the home run derby again and then almost won it for the AL but got on base so you know I don't know, just like those type of moments, just like getting the crowd hyped. I think that's pretty much what it's all about. Yeah, unfortunately, he had to uh, he had to get on base, which is just yeah. just a bummer. Totally. Uh, mm-hmm. I really I enjoy his clutch. Yeah, I know that would have been sick. I really enjoy the Lourdes Gurriel getting his home run called back. Oh yeah, that was just funny. I, I kind of <laughs> mean for me to pick that as one of my favorite moments, but it was. He was so pumped because the umpires ruled it a home run. No one was really sure. Pitcher was pissed that he gave up the home run, too. The whole arm slam mm-hmm. thing. And he was sulking around the mound. And then it just went went to review and got called back. And then he got a hit a single anyway. So, like, not a home run, but still productive at bat. And then Michael mm-hmm. Lorenzen came in. Angels legend. <laughs> yeah, a four ERA. I saw Angel, that. Angels City <laughs> Connect insane. legend. Is that really the best guy the Tigers could send? I know I a better like... one, but he's injured. What about Eduardo what Rodriguez? They could have put him. He just him came in. off the injured list, so I guess they. Uh, they could have done. Want to send him in? Alex. They could have done Alex Lange too. Yeah. He's had a really good year. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. Oh well. There's one guy. Right? Is it Riley Green? Riley Green's having a good year, but he's injured. So. Yeah. They have better. It's just uh, it didn't work out. I guess you could say. I don't know. Yeah, definitely uh, interesting choice from the Tigers there. He looks. I I think, I think was, one person from every team is just like they should just get rid of that because like some teams are just so pathetic. What's the point? I kind of get it though. Like you know, the A's, dude. Like why are you? Here? Yeah, I kind of. I mean, it. The, even the A's have players. So like, it's kind of like they have a few players. It's kind of cool to like see different players. But yeah, if you're like a Royals fan and like half the team is injured and stuff. It's a little tough. It just Salvador like, uh, Perez. It like, I mean, yeah, oh, yeah, obviously. That was nice to see. I yeah. just feel like um, it just promotes like these teams who are just like tanking to Kingdom Come, and it's like, oh, you still yeah. got an All Star. It's like, no, <laughs> just give them nothing. They don't deserve anything. <laughs> I think when when they we say give them nothing, I, I think it. it's got to be monetary. You know, I I think revenue sharing needs to be canceled or or have a salary floor. I think true but it's also about fan support and support from you know like promotion of putting their player in the all-star game yeah um, i'm just complaining because i don't like four era guys michael yeah, was sure. looking as good as ever <laughs> dude he, he yeah yeah give him that. i have to give him a random drug test dude he's looking <laughs> he's been hitting the gym i think <laughs> eating a balanced yeah, breakfast a... every morning He's having a few uh, gummy bear vitamin gummies. Oh, yeah. Flintstone gummies. Taking a couple couple extra. extra. And and you recommend. A bottle a day. (laughs) Drinking an extra cup of milk every day. Get the bones stronger. (laughs) Uh, That was a good game, though. Yeah, it was a good game. It was fun. I liked when they had uh, Corbin Carroll mic'd up when he was batting. And they had the pitcher mic'd up. I forget who that was. I think it was Nate Evaldi was mic'd up while he was pitching. Yeah. And they just stared each other down for a second because neither of them wanted to say anything. 
about their approach or yeah. whatever. Like normally when you're mic'd up, you go up there and you're like, I'm, I'm looking slider here. I'm looking, you know, and you get <laughs> zero content when the pitcher and the hitter are both mic'd up because yeah. nobody wants to give up their secrets. Like what's Eva already going to say? Like, let me try and sneak a curveball in right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm really thinking cut her outside to induce weak contact. <laughs> oh, that's... It was a fastball. Well, that, yeah. <laughs> so yeah I'm going curveball, fastball. That might have been the ultimate strategy, <laughs> honestly. Like, like so funny. I wish we saw that. Bit. Yeah, that would have been sick. Mm-hmm. Um, that would have been sick. Uh, I'm going to look at the box score and see who was disappointing. Ronnie was disappointing, even though he made a made a nice catch, if I remember correctly. Shohei Otani walked once and struck out once. So, what are you going to do? He sucks. That's why he's going to be a Dodger. Yeah. I I, I, I hope if he goes to the Dodgers, he gets broken. Not, like, physically, <laughs> but, like, he just has, like, a <laughs> six. I just mean he has, like, a six ERA and, like, he's batting, like, 140, you know? I. And then he leaves the Dodgers and it's, like, all good. Goes back to regular Shohei Otani. And then we don't sign him, and the Angels sign him again. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have him for like, like two months, and then that's it. DFA, just like Andrews Max Scherzer. DFA, all these prospects yeah. placed on outright waivers. Goes Triple A, Oklahoma City. Wait, where's your guys Triple A? It's Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, City, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm going to an Oklahoma City Dodgers game. That's um, so sick. When I go back to Kansas, make the four and a half hour journey out to Oklahoma City. He's going to totally see the should. Noah Syndergaard rehab assignment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Noah you know, Syndergaard career minor leaguer. Oh, my God. This is um this is very random and goes back to what we were already talking about, but I just saw this post. And it says that, uh, that after the home run derby, Vlad was give, doing his like talk and all that, and ESPN's got their little um, yeah, I saw that graphics. Mm-hmm. And it said second born Cuban player. Oh yeah, yeah, Cuban. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> that was. They already news. had that uh, that Randy thing. Not even Cuban. Up. Yep. It's so funny. That caused a lot of oh, questions I... in my household. So my dad goes, "He was born in Cuba," and I go, "No, he was. De- he's definitely from Canada." And he goes, <laughs> it says he's from Cuba, and I'm like, "He is not from Cuba, dude." Like, like he's I'm Dominican, but, up, he's, but yeah, he's, he's from Montreal. But like, even if you're gonna talk about ethnicities. Dominican. He's not going to cue First born, first Hispanic born player to win. Like, come on. <laughs> first Stupid. Russian player. To... <laughs> yeah. First player from Montreal. Yeah, I like, guess I right. say that. First from Montreal born. You want to be really specific. Yeah. The uh, Estevez shot in the All-Star game was also pretty cool. Yeah. That's a fun celebration. It's more fun when the Angels bullpen does it with him. But that's just because I'm yeah. an Angels fan, you know? Like, that, those are my guys, so I, get I like that. to see that. But I get what are you going to do? I wish they would have put him in for the save situation, even though there was no save situation. Because <laughs> Bautista... Cool, like, high leverage. Bautista Kinda just blew it. blew it, bro. Gave up a uh-huh. two-run shot. That is embarrassing. His all-star game... ERA is now 27. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. He only got two so outs. Bad. Two earned runs. Two, two outs out, and two, two earned run. runs. So, yeah, 27. Broken. But uh, One run per out. Elias <laughs> is broken. One run per out. That is a <laughs> Gets an out, gives stat. a run. Gets, a, gets an out, gives a per run. Three innings pitch, nine <laughs> earned runs. <laughs> <laughs> That's an Alec, Alec Manoa, Manoa stat line. Be like... <laughs> yeah, Alec Manoa pulling up. He's back. He's fixed, dude. That's news. He's fixed. That's news in the week just since we've had an episode. To go he just... suck. <laughs> yeah, he just went down to the Florida Complex League, got wrecked by a bunch of eighteen-year-olds, and now they, he's, um, he's back. They told him like, uh, just get it out of your system. Yada yada yada. Give him all up now. Yeah. <laughs> he went out. up and he's good now. His entire game, he threw all curveballs. I was just like a practice. <laughs> they just nah. said your fastball sucks. Yeah. Throw all Throw off curveballs pitches. Yeah. <laughs> no fastballs. No fastball. They'll be sitting on fastball like it's got to be now, and they'll just never get it. Yeah. His last start, um, 
was, let's see, six innings, one earned, five hits, eight strikeouts. Damn. On Good. the road to recovery. Oh my god, these outings are horrendous. I'm <laughs> just looking back, you know. You know. One third innings pitched, seven hits, six earned runs. That's an all time stat line right there. <laughs> <laughs> that is all like time. No Three all innings, all. nine earned runs. <laughs> 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 I wonder what his, what his whip is at this point in the season. Like eighteen. Up there. It's got to be garbage. Alec yeah. Manoa. Also what? in news, not injury news, but... Um, well, I guess it is injury news. Alec Manoa's wasn't injury news. Maybe it was an injury. I don't really know. I gotta pretend. But, Maybe. I don't know. Um, 2023 regular season, Alec... Sorry, I'm all over the place right now, but it just loaded. 2023 regular season for Alec Manoa... His whip was 1.8. Huh. So, oh, not almost as bad, two. Not as bad as it may seem to be with a 5.91 yeah. ERA. Anyway, <laughs> talking injuries, Aaron Judge said his toe may not heal for years. Yeah. <laughs> How does that even happen? That's like when they said uh, Carlos Correa is just going to deal with this foot injury forever. And they're like, forever? <laughs> <laughs> Like, you'll always have it? Yeah. What? So oh, he's gone. That's epic. Oh, um, we don't need him. Yeah, that that was an all... That was a that was a great headline. I read that, and I was just like, this is not real. So I clicked on the article, and I was reading through it. Holy shit. It's real. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> <laughs> Dodgers groundskeepers got to do a better job. They were going to lose their job. <laughs> they could build a fence that won't fall over. I think the thought of Aaron Judge, like, thinking about suing the the Dodgers, like, stadium staff. <laughs> dude, why would why is that even a thought? It's he stupid. should, bro. Stupid. For what? Bro, did you see what happened when he ran into the fence? It just... That's... It was almost like there was no fence it there. Dude, <laughs> it just the broke. The fence isn't prepared for a freaking 6'6", six, six, like, <laughs> full-speed train running down. Should I'm sorry. Be, though, there, I'm it's sorry. An, it's an MO. It's not, it's not like Aaron Judge ran into the fence at Curtis Park across the street from my house, the little, that was, the little league AAA field. I think dude, Aaron, Aaron Judge, Judge is like 6'6", six, six, 300 pounds. I I'm think sorry. if Aaron Judge ran into the AAA fence – at the, the ballpark across the street from my house, I don't think it would have collapsed. I think he might have fallen over it, but I don't think it would have collapsed. We should try that out. You we know, should get Aaron Judge out. I think, Find someone who's 6'6", 6, 6, 300. I think the fence wasn't the biggest issue. I think it was the random-ass piece of concrete that's just aligning oh, the oh, fence. Oh, yeah. No damn yeah, reason. <laughs> like, like, what's that about? I think, yeah, I think if there's one fence that you have to make sure that no one's going to run through, it's the one with a weird concrete slab beneath it that will absolutely ruin a player's career, you know? Like, the outfield wall, if that collapses, it's happened before, and it's no big deal. Like, you just run into the fence, the fence collapses, you fall down, and you go, ouch, and get back up. But, like, I don't know. When you have, like, a skate park right behind the fence that Aaron Judge is going to fall into, stub his toe... (laughs) That's like a that's a great injury to have. I won't be the same for years because I toe. stubbed my toe. Okay. <laughs> Die, <laughs> dies of a toe injury. Chronic toe stubbing. It's gonna sure, heal for years. Sucks. No, is that true? Like your toes need years to heal. You tore his I mean, ligament, it's... bro. How long do toe ligaments need to heal? Ligaments take forever. My mom tore tore ligaments in her knee when we were skiing when I was like five, and it's still not the same. Her knee is still Damn. all messed up. Well, it says sprain. He doesn't have a sprain. It tore. Just put some dirt on it. Like put a little like ice yeah, rub a little dirt on, it, on it. Yeah, come on. Neil's fantasy Bio team freeze. is in jeopardy. Come on, help him out. Yeah, do you have oh, my man. trap, Neil? Yeah, also. Yeah, I have Mike Trout <laughs> and Aaron Judge. Two of the most epic. chronically injured. Yeah. Two of the most chronically um, injured the past two years. Oh, wait, hold on. I will say this. Are we still talking about the All-Star game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. I will say this about it. Um, out of the four major sports leagues, this is the best one because, like, everyone tries 100% or close to it. And, oh, and it's kind of, like, laid back, too. Yeah. Like, the NFL Pro Bowl, so bad. Do not watch it, mm-hmm. like, at all. Uh, the NBA, it's, like, kind of just casual. And then NHL is, like, okay. But, like, I don't know. That's just my right. thought. MLB best all-star game for sure. Definitely. Um, yeah. I think it's because there's no inherent risk that comes with playing baseball. Also that. Well, there is, but it's not. It's less. You know, like when you're running into people, it's it's like you're trying to create injury almost. Baseball's yeah, not much. really the same way. So if you play, yeah, if you play you hard play and get two at-bats, then you won't get injured. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's fun. Really? And another thing about the NFL Pro Bowl is that it's before the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's a little stupid. And guys that are in the Super Bowl can't play in the Pro Bowl, which is crazy because the best players are going to be on the team that goes to the Super Bowl. That's just how things work. You know, the best teams Imagine. go to the championship. Imagine so the All-Star up... game is like weeks before the World Series. Yeah, can you yeah. imagine if there was a if the All-Star game was during the travel day before the World Series? <laughs> like... No, that's just ridiculous. And if yeah. the World Series guys couldn't be on, like, couldn't be on the the All Star Game roster, like, who do we think's going to the World Series this year? Um, not the Blue Jays. That was my initial know. prediction, but Braves, like, I guess you could put. Like, yeah, probably how many Braves. Rangers players were there in the in the All Star Game? Oh, a lot. Five, six. When six, the six. Rangers, when the Rangers are in the World Series. And if, if if the All Star Game, there wouldn't have been any Rangers players on there, which just would have been it stupid. Would have been you know all Blue Jays players is what you're saying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike Trout. Um, yeah. Mike Trout got uh got surgery done. He'll be back. Wah wah. Timeline is four <laughs> to eight Did weeks. You say wah wah. And so. Okay. Yeah. How dare you? How dare you? How, how dare absolutely you? dare you? <laughs> Do you just say want, want? Yeah, he should be back in a couple weeks. A uh, reporter asked him, could be worse, what is he going to do over years, this next right? two months? And he said, two months? Dude, I'm going to be back in a few weeks. Uh, a <laughs> Let's go. I hope so. I need that, please. Who does he replace, though, guys? Guys, if you had to vote, which outfielder does he replace? Tatis, Reynolds, Spencer Steer, Kyle Tucker, or Verdugo? Um, Sam again. Uh, Tatis, Brian Reynolds, Spencer Steer, Kyle Tucker, or Alex Verdugo? Probably Tatis. Reynolds. Tatis is good. You gotta keep Tatis in. I, how is Tatis he in fantasy? Tatis is averaging nineteen point one. Oh, yeah. Fantasy wise, yeah. Reynolds take is out fourteen point five. I would take out Reynolds because he's yeah. been he was hot earlier on. Yeah, he fell off. I. Right. That'll happen. Shit, uh, my bad. Back. I gave out my fantasy secrets. <laughs> Wait, yeah. my bad. Take out uh, Tatis and Verdugo. Yeah. Take out, <laughs> just take out every one of your. Dude, players. the people <laughs> if, leave one player in. If mm. anybody that listens to fantasy baseball tunes into our podcast by accident this time, they're gonna they're gonna say like, Fernando Tatis is averaging nineteen points a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? That's what people my whole like team's pitching a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, that's actually a good average for a starting pitcher, not gonna lie. Because I play in the other leagues. That's about a starting pitcher average. That's Absolutely legendary. Um, Alex Cobb made the All Star game. Oh, the he's, Giants. He's mid. Yeah, he was mid. He is mid. He will be mid. And he always has been mid. Did Logan Webb make it? Or was he. Was Cobb the, like, only player that they could put in. I think Webb made it, but he didn't pitch. Okay. Maybe because Makes of sense. starts. Like, he started recently or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, dude, he threw uh, nine complete innings in a shutout against the Rockies of a one nothing win. It's insane. That's fun. In Colorado? I think it was at uh, Oracle Park. Less impressive. But still. Um, still, though. Uh, yeah. He is actually not that bad this year. Wow, he's actually good. He's been this really year. good. Two nine one. ERA. 
That's I thought yeah. it was worse. Yeah, that's cool. Um, he was with the Angels for a minute, and then everybody was mad because we let him walk. But he you was bad him, with the Angels. I did Angels. not know that. He was bad no with the way. Angels. He was bad. He was. When was this? Uh, 2021. Mm. I remember. It was pretty bad. Forgot that. Three it was as good as... ERA. Oh. Angels can really use him right now. That's crazy. Well, we couldn't use him right now because if he was on our team, he would still be terrible. We know how this goes. I mean... Yeah. You're going to take him back and he's going to suck you. Yeah. Watch it happen. Mm-hmm. That's how it goes. He got uh, suspended for steroids, I think. When? For something like that. In the minors. He was in the minors. Yeah. The he got minor. suspended like 80 games for PEDs. That's fun. That's why his jawline's all broken. Yeah. Dude, PEDs and then he came back. way to go. Like, you get suspended for, like, at most 162 for PED use, but it permanently increases your muscle mass. I know. Yeah. Right? Like, why doesn't everybody <laughs> just do that, just take big. the suspension, and get better? For real. Maybe they already yeah, have 80 game know. vacation, why not? Yeah. <laughs> go for that. Free paid for vacation. Um... Is there anything you guys want to see changed about the All-Star game? Um, I don't really know. I don't think so. It all... Yeah, it's pretty good. You get, like, the, you get the right balance of, like, competitiveness, but also, like, fun, you know? Yeah. You know what I would like is what? being able to vote on the starter. Yeah. Because I like some pitching yeah. control. I hate how it's just batted on them. Not the result. Yeah. Like, maybe just the starter. That'd be cool. Like, starter's order. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, the issue is you don't know if they're going to be available that day. But at least, like, rank them. Like, rank these five guys. And yeah. then, like, they'll just go down the line of who's available. It'd be kind of mm-hmm. cool to get some control over it. True. Yeah. It'd yeah. probably mean more to the pitcher, too, because they get number one and they know they can't pitch that day, but they know they would have been the starter. And they're like, oh, I was the number one all-star vote, even though I didn't pitch that day. Like, I was number one. You know? That is true. Clayton Kershaw would have been number one, I think. Maybe Shane McClanahan like, would have beat him, but the Rays have no fans, so it probably would have been Clayton Kershaw. <laughs> for they probably would have received votes. the most votes. I know they're not in, in competition, so but ah, Kershaw would have received the most votes. No fan. Um, yeah, they have no fans. Their team is historically good, and they're like two guys. Oh, well. Yeah. Poor team. Who's converting? we got to bump up those numbers. Uh, Not me. Yeah. Get a. I might if there's like, some like giant scandal. I'll think about it. Confirmed. Dodgers cheated in every World Series they've ever played. <laughs> yeah, you gotta <laughs> go switch. all in. Wear the tinfoil hat. Dodgers cheated in 2020. Not oh only, God. not only is it a Mickey Mouse and World Series, they also cheated. <laughs> okay, I've been seeing this a lot. Everyone's saying the Dodgers cheated in 2017, like. I I don't understand it, Not but probable. It's when cheating was kind very, of high. like people are saying, "Oh yeah, Dodger cheat," but like there's no evidence. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's likely that most teams cheated. Obviously, in the on era, a small scale, in the era from you know 2017 to yeah, from on the era in the era, like I don't. I think the Dodgers probably cheated, but I don't think it was a Dodgers issue. You know, I yeah, it's a major league issue. Yeah. Everyone does it. Yeah, that's yeah, like in the NFL, everyone skip. cheats. Come on, let's be real. Mm-hmm. We have to play all the balls. Yeah, <laughs> it completely validates Oops. all six. Hey, and we're goals. all doing it. It's third down. <laughs> yeah. Do over, do over fourth down. That's fun. So dumb. Uh, Five first down. <laughs> yeah, it's a great. I just. Yesterday I hung up my uh, I got a little cheese Super Bowl towel that's now hanging on my wall. You'll be happy to know that one. Oh, looks God. looks really good up there. Um, yeah, it's fun that it's baseball season and there's nothing else because everybody, all the major media networks have to pretend like they care about baseball right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get what I want. What was um? Ah, what's his name? The ESPN guy. Stephen A. Smith. Yeah, what was what was his take on uh, Shohei Otani? Do you remember? He had a take. He said he like can't be ago. the. He said he can't be the best player yeah, because not this that is not. English. Oh, 
Um, oh. I think he said like the Angels are irrelevant because every he time did. I drive by, um, there's nothing like special about that stadium, and Otani should leave. This is true. Unfortunately for him, the Angels are Back. the most relevant team in sports for the next two weeks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Only for two weeks. But for True. two weeks, we are the most relevant team in sports because nobody knows what's going on. I don't have a clue. Yeah. You think he's Sorry, gone? Jack. You think he's gone in two weeks um, or in three months? I think if they absolutely three days in the next two weeks. You mean you mean gone. if they go like oh and fourteen? I mean if they go like uh what's a good number? I guess if they only win like three or four games in the next no. two weeks. Well and drop probably. like really bad. Like lose ten, maybe eleven, twelve. There's like no hope. I think it's gonna happen. Yeah. Like we Mariners kinda of ride a wave and it's like, Well, there's that, then yeah. Oh. There's three weeks until the trade deadline. Yeah. So it's that- basically rest of July. If they have a losing record by then, it's going to happen. The trigger's going to be pulled. Yeah. So there's 27 games. uh, With no days off. But we'll assume there's 27 games. What do you think the Angels have to get? How many do you think the Angels have to lose out of 27 to sell? Shohei Otani. They might sell... Other guys before they sell Shohei Otani, but I'm talking about the one, the one and only. If they play 500, I think they'll sell. Nope. Can almost guarantee you they won't sell if they play 500. I mean, he's gone either way, so got to get something. For I him. think they have to. Where are they? I think they gotta lose like uh, over 15 games of those 27. I think the magic number is three wins. I think like if, if the they Angels, only win three. I think if the Angels win three games over the next three weeks, Shohei Otani is gone. I think if it's any more than three, Artie Moreno wants his second round oh. draft pick. You know, give Shohei Otani the qualifying wow. offer and get your second round draft pick when he goes It might happen. They're one Los for their Angeles. last 10. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like nothing's off the table with these halos. You never know. Sometimes we play historically well and sometimes we play historically awful. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. I uh, Let me look at something else. I think right now dang. 1 2 3 4 5 6 what well, their 7th in wild card. So, I think they got to drop, like, to 10th. And then Ooh, and then wow, it's a dumpster fire time. Angels have a tough schedule. Yes. They play Astros, Yankees, Pirates, Tigers for three. They could drop that. Uh, they play the Blue Jays, Braves. They're, these are tough games. I don't know. It'll be hey, tough. Tigers the is the Toronto easiest thing they got. After our losing streak. So, basically... Okay. The only three wins that look achievable are the Tigers. The rest are going to be hard fought. Yep. Unfortunately. Yeah. And Angels by then, it's all going to be I fear. Like, it's over. See, you just said the thing. Why do you react so strongly when I say I fear, but you but you say Dude, it all the time? It's so stupid. Yeah, it's I hate it. It's I hate, I hate that so much about Twitter. It's so stupid. Um... Yeah. Gavin and I were talking about how the how the Angels need to get off. They need to start off with a bang. Like Rendon's probably probably gonna be back. Everybody's saying he's probably gonna be back, but he might not be back at the end of the break. Zach Netta will definitely be back. Brandon Drury will be back. So the Angels have to get off to a bang, I think. To to have any hope like even if they don't yeah. lose enough games to to trade Shohei I think if they don't get off to a bang it's the season's over and then we looked at the schedule and we decided the season's over because there's no way we win that many games 
So I hope yeah I hope Shohei Otani leaves and we get some some pieces. Where do you think Shohei will go? Dodgers. In I mean, trade? besides the Dodgers. In a trade. Yeah. The Dodgers will trade for Shohei Otani. Yes. I don't think they will. They have so I don't many. Think they will either. They have so many minor league pieces. Like, I mean, some of them they're gonna pan out, others them, but not. You know, like you got to pitch in like minor league guys. You could throw on, I don't know, Gavin Stone. <laughs> um, hey, you guys want Gavin Papio. Stone? Papio. Papio's pretty trash. He's supposed to be good though. We've called uh, them all up and they're all mid. I know, dude. That's what I'm saying. If they're not like insane to start out, get them out of here. Get them out of the kitchen. We'll them because we like our depth and we're just yeah. going to wait. You know? Yeah, well, and, well, there's good chances agency? that once he Dodgers gets traded, get he doesn't sign agency. a 10 year extension. Do you get I what I'm saying? Yeah. That might be better. Like, let's, say he gets, let's say he gets traded. There's no way he like the Mets. Let's say that happens. There's no way he signs like a. No way you said to your extension. Mets. No Mets. way you said to I'm the saying, Mets. I'm saying hypothetically. Any team. The, okay, to it's make it even Mets. funnier, let's say he gets traded to the Royals, okay? Let's uh, say he gets traded to the capital. Royals. Just to make it more comical. The Sasquatch okay. is coming to Anaheim, baby. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's say that happens. Um, he's not going to sign like a 10-year extension. No, he you know, he's going to probably test free. Yeah. And the Dodgers would get him there. So I, I think they were willing to run the risk of you know not securing him early if we're playing that game then i hope he goes to san diego so the padres just continue to just hemorrhage <laughs> cross build and hope players. and fail again yeah i don't think they <laughs> got the we capital go to get otani right i mean they could probably throw in like major league players they would have to do like cronenworth uh, the, like, the angels are big suckers stuff. for major league talent yep. they cannot... suckers for mid major league players I mean, you can have Cronenworth, Matt Carpenter, and Miguel you can Rojas. Have, uh, yeah, Miguel Rojas. I mean, Nelson Cruz is looking like a he got DFA. He's looking like prime pick. I know it's it's a bummer. We could, we could add Matt Carpenter and Nelson Cruz for Shohei Otani. Like, can you imagine? Oh yeah, what a deal. Um, I don't know. I see him going to a Reds or a Guardians. That would be oh my god, dude! If he goes to the Reds, can you imagine all Shohei games. Otani? I do not care. That would be so cool. That'd be sick. <laughs> and it all happens the, when I'm him outside the all of black Ohio, so that'd be really cool. Yeah, you yeah, can go see him. He'd look good in the, the Cincinnati uniform, I fear. Red and white. <laughs> oh, my God. Do it again. I dare you. <laughs> what do you Jesus. do? Reach through the screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if they'll trade for him. It would be, It'd be really cool, so though. cool if one of those teams, like, Paid for him in free agency, and can you imagine awesome. if the Reds signed him? That'd be so sick. That'd be so sick. They turn it around in a span of like, like two months. It's yeah, crazy. comeback team of the year for real. Personally, I want Shohei Otani to be dealt to the Cardinals. So my bet can stay alive. I'm down for that. No way those sellers become buyers. I want him to go to the Cardinals because the Cardinals have this legendary history of trading away elite players. You know? Like, if we give <laughs> yeah, Shohei yeah. Otani to the elite Cardinals, prospect. surely we get some guys that just end up being <laughs> generational talents, you know? Yeah. The next Mike Trout. Get Nolan Gorman. Traded. Nolan Gorman. We, we Sandy have six-man outfield running with Joe Adele and Mickey Moniak and Taylor Ward and Hunter Renfro and Mike Trout and... Uh... You'd finally get an ace. Yeah. Yeah. They fought all the way up pitching. Yeah, they're historically bad at trading. So are the Angels, though. I mean, what are you going to do? We should have sent yeah. Luis Renjifo to the Dodgers when we had the chance. Yeah, you would have had Ross Stripling and Jock Peterson. I know. It's crazy. They're both still pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ross a little lesser, but they're both, they're both mean, up there. Ross is like mid-30s, so... It's impossible to predict what the Angels are going to do. They are like no other organization. Yeah, they sell the team and then just psych. <laughs> yeah. Even when your hopes are completely in the air because they're going to get the team out of their, you know, checkbooks. Yeah. Psych. <clears throh> um, oh, well, what other topics are there? Um, Dodgers drafted a... Uh, 
football player. I saw that for Oregon yeah, State. That was funny. DJ U- can't say his name, but yeah, DJ DJ Ukulele, U- ukulele. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of cool. Ukulele. I guess he played he played high school and he had like a fastball that was like ninety three. Um, he's not gonna wow. sign, but still, yeah, kind of cool. Why spend a pick on him if you don't think he's gonna sign? You don't have to pay him, like a free true. pick, pretty much. True, we don't even have to try. Yep. Be like, hey. We know you're not going here. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can just say you got drafted by the Dodgers. <laughs> maybe it'll be one of those situ- Maybe the Dodgers will go under someday, like the Expos did. And this guy will be the last. He'll be like Tom Brady was for the Expos, you know, oh like the God. last remaining. All of L.A. will become the Angels piece of fans. <laughs> <laughs> the dark yeah, world. totally. Dark world. Um. What teams do you think have to start off strong? Um, Diamondbacks and Dodgers. Two easy picks. Dodgers, really. I mean, they had such a mid-first half that if they don't start off hot, they're not making the playoffs. I don't think the Padres have to start off hot so much as they have to learn how to play baseball and then play baseball (laughs) the whole second half, you know? Yeah. Like, I think even if the Dodgers start off strong and start to fade a little bit, it'll be fine. Like, they'll make the postseason. If the Padres start off strong and then they fade, hope's gone. Mm-hmm. They're fighting for the wild card. They're not going to win it. So that's why I think they need to start off strong because they're competing against the Marlins. The All those teams are sneaky. Know. Yeah. They're going to All those other teams. Bunch of people. Um, I think the Mets need to start out hot. They, I mean, they, yeah. they've been doing all right, but they're like the same as the Padres. Like, yeah. They're like in a very similar boat. They got a very payout. similar payroll, too. Very funny. Yeah. Kind of yeah. cool how that lined up. I think Angels or Mariners, Worth one of them's got to go. One of them's got to pick it up. Mariners are fine, I think. They'll, yeah, they'll mid off okay. of the century. Yeah. Well, if, the Angels, if the Angels pick it, up, pick it up and the Mariners don't, then the Angels will make the playoffs and the Mariners won't. Or neither of them will, but... I'm going neither, but yeah. They'll, they'll make it interesting. I wish I was religious so I could pray right now that the Mariners have another record-breaking <laughs> postseason drought. <laughs> 31 years Something instead to of 21. Um, I think I also think the Yankees need to like do better. Yeah, I was gonna say that. I mean, mm-hmm. dude, they're gonna make the wild card, but like still, they need to like pick Fairly. it up. I don't know if they I, will. They're seven bro. games over. Really. They're seven you got games the over. Right the, they, Orioles. the Yankees are not and in a wild card Rangers spot and right the now. Astros. They could be though. They're like, they're fading, but this is the time to they fade. They make it. It's the last spot. <laughs> they could definitely do it. The AL so competitive. Steam. It's like yeah, Rays, right. Orioles, Blue Jays, and then you got Rangers, Astros. Jeez, this is gonna be tough. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. The whole wild card, just the division. I'm praying. I'm praying the Red Sox make it over the Yankees. How funny would that That'd be? That'd be so funny. I'd laugh. I need that to happen. What a stupid division, bro. Yeah. 48 and 43, last yeah. place. Kind of, Unreal. kind of nuts. Yeah, maybe maybe we do got to do divisional realignment. I think it was fine when there were less wild card spots. But now that there are more wild card spots, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have the divisions. We're going to put the Blue Jays. And switch them with the Tigers. That'll do. No, the Blue Jays should be <laughs> National League, bro. Uh, no, we don't want the them. National League. True. We can, I, yeah. we can have the the Mets. Let's exchange. Yeah. Let's exchange the Nationals. Sure. For the Blue Jays, that'll make it a little more competitive. The Nationals yeah. in the American League instead of the National League. I don't know about that one. <laughs> you can have the nah, Marlins. You take, kind uh, of yeah, you take the Marlins. Milwaukee? Mm. They were already in the American League and then they got moved. He moved oh, them yeah. back. Put them back. <laughs> Put them yeah, back. Take them back. Don't they just want keep them. swapping every 10 years. 
<laughs> make sure they get no history in either league. <laughs> if the Dodgers ever got switched, I would riot. Oh, same. Same with the yeah. Giants. Yep. Yeah. You can actually have the Padres. I legitimately could care less. <laughs> that would be fun. I would really enjoy having yeah, the Padres in the West. That would be fun. The American yeah. West. We'll take the A's. Sure. I mean, hey, we got that rivalry, so. Yeah. It'd be pretty cool. Pick Park okay. is so cool. It's fun. It's Very a good fun. time out there. Go to a game when you get the chance. What are some predictions you guys messed up? Oh, yeah. Let's look <laughs> let's at that. Let's get. Let me split screen this really quick. Let's go, baby. Let's see. American League West, I had the Astros winning 101 games and losing 61. That does not appear like it's going to happen, but they're the Astros. They might just start cooking, you know. Second place, I had the Mariners at 88 and 74. Ooh. Doesn't, ah, they might get to 88 and 74. Could. Could do it. Maybe. They will not be in second place, though. The Rangers, I had it 82 and 80. Yeah. They still could do it. That's an all-time bad prediction right there. <laughs> they could. Yeah, same. Probably probably way conservative on that one. I don't know. Yeah. It, on paper, their team just looks so good. I just don't think I wrapped my head around, you know, I see all these super teams get built, like the Phillies kind of, this year. And they just kind mm-hmm. of struggle to get off the ground. Or like the Dodgers of last year. I mean, I know the Dodgers of last year had a great win last record, but then they lost second round to the Padres. So yeah, I think it's like I see these super teams get assembled and then they're mid. So that's what I was thinking was going to happen. But nope. They're good. <laughs> I had the Angels at 70 and 92. Very, very within the realm of possibility here. Mm-hmm. Watch well, it be like perfect on that. Like, you get all of them wrong, but you get that one correct. That'd be really um, funny. What do we think? Oh, and I had the A's at 68 and 94. Yeah, about that. That was a very you... optimistic prediction. Yeah, I don't, I, I think that's generous. Yeah. 68 and 94? What was I I mean, thinking, I had 67. Bro? They're still not even going to do that. I didn't put the the record, but they have sixty-seven There's no way they win. They have sixty-seven losses years. right now. Yeah, <laughs> they're going up. Like, there's no way they would need to win like thirty-five. Not even. They need to win like forty, I think, for me to be accurate. That no. <laughs> yeah. The A's, the A's would have to win 43 games in the second half for my prediction to come true, and that is just not happening. Out of, uh, like, what, 70 games? Yeah. They'd have to play 500, and they're the A's, so that's not happening. Talk American yeah, League West to me, guys. What were your predictions coming in? Yeah. Um, I had the I'm Astros you. on top. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, listen up. Uh, Astros on top. I had Mariners right there. I had Rangers at three. I mean, it's probably going to flip-flop, but... It, it's pretty similar. AL Central, I had Guardians on top. And I had Guardians as the fourth team in the AL top five. So, oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> optimistic that on that one. one. Just a bit. Um, I had Yankees on top, second team in the AL. Uh, I had Rays at four in the AL East. That was a little I also had off. Rays at four in the AL East. <laughs> they got, like, worse. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> I know, right? The Rays, bro. The uh, never doubt better, the like, Rays. What? Never doubt the Rays. I've learned my lesson Dang this it. year. Oops, um, my bad. My central, I have the Twins in first. At 88 had, and 74. Damn. Oh, I had the Mariners top five AL also. That was kind of funny. Yeah. I have the Ooh. White Sox being two games under 500, which they are underperforming severely right now for that one. But yes, they're the White Sox, and they have a history of 500. I yeah. love I love when the White Sox have a good stretch or a bad stretch. Like, right towards the middle of their good stretch, or right towards the middle of their bad stretch, all of the Twitter accounts will release... Um, White Sox last 10 games, 5-5. Five and five. White Sox last 20 games, 10-10. and 10. White Sox last 
50 games, 25 and 25, and it's just mid, <laughs> all the way back for like 10 years. They're just always yeah. mid. So funny. I have the Royals winning. Oh, wow. The Central. Wow. We might be on the money, boys. I have the Royals going 50 and 112. We are on <laughs> pace. We are on pace right now. It's okay, okay. I also have the Tigers being horrendous, but uh, they, we're not going to talk about that one. Yeah, Yankees, Jays, Orioles, Rays, Red Sox. That was my order. That was my exact same order. Yeah, we're all the same. Damn. Oh, um, that didn't happen. Yeah. You want to go National League? Let's go National League. I'm way better at this one. Oh, no. Uh, I was kind of off. Let's talk National I was League West. Off, but it's better. And by let's, I mean I'm not going to say anything about the National League West because... Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I got one and five, right? Two, two through four is a little messy. Yeah, Sam, Sam, Sam. I basically got two through four backwards. <laughs> Flipping around <laughs> and it's right. Number I one, had... Dodgers. Number two. Uh, did you have number two? Padres. Padres. And then D backs and then Giants. I had Giants and D backs. Mm. I had Padres number one. Padres, I had a top five number one team. Y'all were over a high school. Padres. I had Padres so as the dude. number one team. They, no, like, dude, that roster idiots. on paper, it was amazing. They have the capacity, bro. You they, can't call us crazy. You, they did choked. have it. They, dude, they got better than last year. Like, yeah, I, I know that now, but like. Y'all underdoubted the Dodgers, though. We got like 111 wins, and then you're like, oh, they, they ain't being But they close. got worse. They got worse. My prediction worse, on the Dodgers is on the money so far. Them. I had Dodgers as number four in the NL. Like I have Dodgers like number two in the NL. I have them at 101 wins. So my my prediction on the Dodgers. How many do you think the Padres were going to win? Jeez. More. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> 104. 106. Oh, damn. Yeah. The pitching isn't that good. It's not good enough for that. I know. Yeah. Major that holes that you guys didn't see. Uh, I also didn't predict everybody being terrible, you know? I mean, the two DHs I signed were, like, basically my grandpa's. Like yeah. Mario and Luigi. But to be fair, twigs. Matt Carpenter <laughs> was raking with the Yankees. He was really good. He was yeah, raking. but that's not sustainable, guys. I, Come on. Hold on. I didn't think it was sustainable. I just thought he wouldn't be awful. I might hit... <laughs> hit league average for a minute and then fall off towards the end of the season or something. Um, Dodgers are smarter than the Padres, okay? They offered Aaron Judge and Trey Turner bags without even doing their research, okay? We don't do that kind of stuff. We actually know what we need. Padres were like, uh, right field, oh no, shortstop, uh, other shortstop. Like, they don't even know what they need. They're just trying to sign the biggest bag they can. That was like, a, Come on, guys, use your brain. thing was kind of a bad move, yep. but... 18 shortstops. I would have figured they would have moved somebody to DH, but then they signed the bad DH. DH. Yeah. I don't, it was a little I, tough. I figured, like, Bogarts. They needed pitching, and they did nothing about it. And they have, like, three major league shortstops, but I know Fernando Tatis was moving to the corner outfield. And so I figured they'd just move Xander or Hassan Kim to DH. And they didn't. You know, it wasn't predictable as... Uh... Machado got really kind of mid out of yep. nowhere. And Tatis yeah, has not been top doing Top five that great. in MVP. I mean, Tatis started out strong, but he's kind of faded out. He's cool enough as of recently. Yeah. But he's we'll still there. Um, I'm confident in him. I used to hate him, like, with a burning passion. I don't really hate him that much. You know, he's less hateable. Yeah. As the days yeah. go on. Here, we'll sort, sure. we'll sort Padres hitters by OPS. Number one. Juan Soto. Makes sense. Oh, he does suck. Transition is bad. Good. Jake Cronenworth sucks. Xander Bogarts is... His OPS Plus is probably 100. So... <laughs> Just average. Average. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, his, his OPS is 730, so that's, yeah, that's pretty average. Um, wow. Hmm. Yeah, everyone just fell off. That's cool. Gary Sanchez sucks at the plate, but... It's bombs, though. But when Blake Snell is pitching to Gary Sanchez, Blake Snell has a 0 0.67 ERA over, like, seven starts. So, I don't know. They got to keep him until the streak is ruined, I think. Anyway, Padres are bad. That's yeah. a bummer. Would have been fun if they were good. And the Giants are... Um, Giants are over surprising. Eight games over 500. Yeah, they're, they're doing well. Didn't see that one coming. No. And the Rockies are also worse than I thought right now. They're not playing 500 ball. They are not playing 500 ball. Hey, he, they he could, said he only though. thought they could play 500 ball. He didn't they, say they would. What a joke. They, they will. Yeah. They're on pace for what? I believe we can play 500 ball. They're winning percentage. He believed. Right he didn't say they would. Um. Anyway, that's the West. Let's talk Central. I had Brewers and then Cardinals and then Cubs. And then Pirates right. and then Reds. Basically that. Yeah, basically that. Uh, <laughs> another all, had... another just horrendous. Wow. Yeah, the Reds. Take what I have. You have the Reds Flip at the it. very bottom. That's pretty accurate. I have the Reds at the very bottom. The so, Cardinals, the Cardinals and the Reds kind of just swapped places with what I thought they much. would be, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Same. That's how it was. Yeah, it doesn't help that Ellie De La Cruz is actually like magic or some some. Yeah. He's like. Yep. All these prospects, like within a span of three weeks, they became all stars. Like it's insane. I don't know. Cincinnati's and, differential is approaching zero. It Ooh. was it was like minus forty earlier this season. Now it's minus up. nine. And they're nine games over. Yeah. Keep they're climbing. Shit. Yeah. Completely blew out that uh, that thing. They're what still did, uh, competing with Milwaukee though. No, yeah. What did I put? Oh yeah, dude. Um, I said don't sleep on the Reds in like a free agency video. And I was like, oh, yeah, You're a like, free eight, like, all these guys, don't sleep on them. I was completely right. You so. just talk during, uh, during the off season though. You probably, oh. say, you probably say don't sleep on them for half the teams. <laughs> yeah, but when I'm right, I'm right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was right about right, last right. year. Make so many predictions that year. one of them's right. I shot one for 16 still. Shoot or shoot. Better than Xander Bogarts. Um, yeah, the Reds. I, I had the Reds winning 65 games, so that's not happening. Um, yeah. Moving to the East. Still cool. I had your New York Mets in the one spot with 99 Damn. wins. That's crazy. I gave them 99 too. I had Braves number one. So, I did have them so proud one. I did that. Same. I'm a genius. I mean, come on. The Mets can make it to 99 wins. <laughs> yeah, okay. If, okay. <laughs> if they and lose, Hayden can be number one by the end of the year, too. If they, lose, if they lose 15 games in the second half, they can make it to 99 Pig, wins. Pigs can fly, too. Yeah. Uh, the Braves, I had in second with 95. They look like they're probably going to exceed that by a bit. They will, for sure. Yeah, they're probably good. around 100, I would guess. Fighting Phils. Yeah. yeah. Wah, wah. They mm -hmm. look about on pace for what I predicted. In the three spot, 89 yeah. wins I have them for. So. Those Marlins, though. Those fish. The fish are cooking right now. Um, yeah, I, I had them under 500. Which. Yeah. They should still be under 500 by the run differential, but oh well. They got, they got pitching. They just got to hit better. Yeah. They're yeah, doing better close. though. Like they are. in a few years, if they get keep Otani together, and your set, if they keep them together, yeah, be really good. Uh, how many games do you guys have Nationals winning? I didn't have. I didn't do the big games. Adam fifth though. I think they're um, gonna do slightly better than I thought, but we'll see. Yeah, I had them winning fifty-seven. 
and they're going to outperform. Their winning percentage is currently 400. Um, and nice. if I predict them to have 57 wins, then their winning percentage would be uh, 0.352. So, yeah. That's the National League. My American League predictions were not that bad. I did not think the center would be as bad as it is, and I did not think that the East would be as good as it is, like, altogether. I also I'm, think that's a product of, of less divisional games. Like, we moved to the schedule, you know? True. Yep. So. It messed things up a bit. It doesn't make sense. We're, we don't really think about that when it happened. No. But yeah. I didn't think it would cool. have that big an impact on divisions as a whole win-loss. I didn't think the last place team in the East would gain 10 wins. Yeah. (laughs) But it makes sense. So. It does. Oh, well. Do we think the Cubs are going to make the playoffs? No. No. There's too many teams. I I repeal whatever I said earlier. No chance. Yeah. Yeah, there's 15 teams and 14 of them are better than the Cubs. I'm all, I would also put money on the Mets not making the playoffs. How much? Really? Uh, my will to live. Well, damn. So if the Mets yeah. make the playoffs, I'll you kill myself. Your soul. Okay. <laughs> if the Mets make the playoffs, we are live streaming. The day after the season ends, Neo will be burned at the stake. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait for that. The video. day after the season ends at 5 p.m. Pacific time, if the Mets make the postseason, Neil will I'm be burned. I'm a little burned. nervous. I yeah. Lie. But I stand by it. Mets will not make the playoffs. I think. Right. Hold on. Um, Completes the storyline. So they're, they're six games below. I think if. It's a cannon event. Yeah, yeah, watch. Okay. <laughs> if the Mets play 500 ball. In the next two weeks, they're going to make the playoffs. If they don't, if they play under, one game under, they're not making it. I'm very curious what their schedule's like now. Divisional games? Mm-hmm. It's loading. It's loading. They better win. It's loading. The Mets are in as good of a spot as the Angels are right now. In terms That's, of wild card. That is a great way to sum up how bad it is. <laughs> like, like, I should really put it in perspective. I think they're done. I think the Mets are done. They're cooked. They have three it, it kind games. Of completes the canon event. Um, Dodgers visit for three. White Sox visit for three. Red Sox visit for three. Yankees visit for two. That that's a lot of losses. Yeah. For the Mets, then they play the teams. Nats and Kansas City. Those are easy. That's seven games total that they can win. But then they play Baltimore. Yeah. So. I don't know. I don't see them going 500 over the stretch. Their second half schedule is a little rough. It looks easy if you look at it by last year's standards. But the D-backs are good. The Marlins are good. The Rangers are good. Yeah, that's a bummer for the Mets. Is it, though? What can you say? It's about the Mets. Yeah. I mean, they signed pick. they signed two dinosaurs to pitch for them, so working out for them. Yeah, I hope the Padres. They're gonna miss. have to do something also, else. Also, I really hope the Padres miss. Dude, Angels are done. We have tough games down the stretch. Rip. Tampa Bay, Texas, Cleveland. Cleveland is not a tough team, but the Angels goes. can't beat Cleveland. I don't know why. We just can't. So are Angels tickets next year going to be cheaper than uh, this year? I hope. Yeah, because yeah, I can't wait to buy my one dollar Angels tickets after. <laughs> Let's go, baby! You can, uh, I'm this season so you can already Angels find games. them for two dollars, bro. Really? You can already like on, on non Otani days. Obviously, Otani days are expensive. Non Otani days, you yeah. can find tickets for two dollars on like Dude. a Sandoval start. I was looking at uh, lower. No one cares. Angels, Yankees, those tickets were pretty high, but every other team. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. if the Angels play poorly, um, then on July 20th, I will prioritize the World Cup over the Angels. 
Megan Rapinoe's last World Cup. Let's go. Are they? They're going for number three, right? This is the three peat. Yep. No team in the history of any World Cup, soccer World Cup, men or women's, has ever three peated. And it's going to be us. And the United States can do it this summer in New Zealand and Australia. So hard. I believe. Greatest nation. God bless America. Thanks for watching. Oh, we have to do the Robust rankings, don't we? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. My bad, my bad, my bad. Are you serious right now? Getting you get so hyped. Like that? Okay, this is going to be quick. I'm going to do, like, first half MVP. Um, Acuna is my NL MVP uh, for hitters. He hit 333, 55 RBIs. Would have guessed that one. 21 homers, also on my fantasy team. So, yeah, suck it. Um, Otani for AL hitters, 302 hitter, uh, 32 homers, and 71 RBIs. For pitchers, That's all right. it's going to be Otani, too. Otani <laughs> popped off. And then uh, Zach Gallon for NL. And that's it. Yep. That's our addition. Mm-hmm. I forgot. God bless America. I forgot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot we're adding a new new little segment at the end of these. Um, oh, for, yeah. For little stat quizzes, right? We're doing stat quizzes. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Mm-hmm. This is Quiz a me. good one. Which major league team walks the most? This is not a pitching stat. This is a batting stat. Which team's hitters oh. walk the most? Um, and you don't look it up. <laughs> Let me just. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just pull up teams because sometimes I forget about. If like, you get top three, I'll give you credit. If Dodgers. you get any of the t- Dodgers, is number two. I'm him. Nice, Andrew. I'm going to go with, um, let's see, patient batters. What if? Braves. Rangers. No, sorry. I meant Rays. Sorry. I got the R, the R in places. Rays? Braves. Yeah. Rays. Braves. I'm not going to count. The Rays, Tampa Bay, looks like they're about 10. What about Atlanta? The Braves are yeah. below league average in total really? based on balls. Yeah. I would think. What about, what about Marlins? The Marlins are like a uh, soft contact team. The Marlins are fourth last in walks. Oh, turn a bit more <laughs> wrong. Um, um, Rangers. Uh, Rangers are up there. They're they're six. Sorry, they're seventh. Yeah, I'm what about wait. what about the Orioles? I was about. I just saw them. Nope. Middle of the no? road. Really? Yeah. Very well, Watch, it's like, uh, Jack, is it like the Tigers? <laughs> Something I wouldn't expect. Number one. Rockies. Sorry, let's go reverse order, um, and we'll do the top five, because you guys got none of them. Number five, your Chicago Cubs. What have I gotten that? Number four. What? The Milwaukee Brewers. What? That kind, of, that kind of makes sense. Number three, the one and only Cincinnati Reds. Oh, damn. It's just the Central. It's the NL Central. Number two is the Dodgers. <laughs> I got Number that. Number one, San Diego Padres. <laughs> Bruh. That's insane. That That's why they suck. They're too patient. <laughs> that's crazy. The San Diego one Padres have 80 more walks than league average. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's crazy. It's one Soto, man. He's carrying. He is the carrying. Is. He probably is. No, yeah. honestly, I'm not kidding. And uh, we'll do we'll do one more, and then we'll call it an episode. Which yep. teams have got caught stealing the most and the least? The most. You start, Andrew. Um. The Mets. No, I'm kidding. Mets um, are. They have seven caught stealings. That is the lowest number of caught stealings. Oh, the okay. There you leagues. go. Let's I go. think you were hoping that they would be most caught stealings, but, you know, you get credit yeah. for that one. <laughs> All right, bet. One for one. Uh, let's throw in... Let me try the Reds. Give me the thought process here. Uh, I'm thinking of teams that have speed, trying to attempt a lot of stolen bases. That would lead to more getting caught stolen, so if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, because you can't get caught if you don't try. So I'm, I'm thinking of speed demon teams. The Reds are tied for so. third. Huh. Okay. 
So I was up there. You're up there for sure. What about White what about, Sox? Uh... White Sox are neither are towards neither end. They're kind of middle. Dodgers. Uh, Dodgers are low on the list. They only have twelve. How about the yeah, Braves? We're smart. Uh, yeah, Braves are low on the list as well. They only have twelve, so they have the okay. fourth fewest caught stealings. The gotcha. answer is the Cardinals. This is why their season sucks. They just keep getting caught stealing. Getting... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know they're tied for fifth most caught stealing. So oh, okay, not totally okay. out. Not totally out of the question here. How about the D-backs? They're a fast team. They're You're there. right. The D-backs are fast. Yep. They have 13 caught ceilings. They're just too fast. They don't get caught. <laughs> oh, they're anyway, smart. We'll skip three. ahead. We'll give, you the, we'll give you the cheat sheet here. Number yeah. one most caught ceilings. Tied. Tied for first. Pittsburgh Pirates. Also tied for first. Oh, the Tampa Bay Rays. That does make sense. Really? Yeah. Tied for third is the Reds and the Royals. Eventually. Reds and Royals tied for... Uh... And then the fewest uh, is the Mets. Second fewest is the Twins. Third fewest, with 11, is the San Francisco Giants. I guess they just don't run a lot. And then uh, tied, Braves and Dodgers. And then tied, wow, there's a lot of teams tied at 13. Rockies, Tigers, Red Sox, Diamondbacks, Rangers. <laughs> okay. That's so weird. It just feels random. And the funny thing is, when you sort by caught stealing, there is just, like, the stolen bases column is right next to it, and it's just, there's no pattern. It makes sense. Except yeah, the teams with the most are, are towards the top. The Tampa Bay Rays have 111 stolen bases, and uh, the Reds have 112. So they're towards the top of that list, and they're also towards the top of caught stealings. But that's about all the pattern is. Yeah, it's really goofy. The more you try, the more. Yeah. Huh. Well. That is goofy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um. We appreciate the view. If if you gave us one. Um. Have a great rest of the All Star break and uh, go Mets.